Breaking news. Welcome to today's alliance. From wherever you listen from, I greet you. Criticizing men of God attracts leprosy. Bishop Oyedepo warns Nigeria. The cleric gave the warning during the leadership empowerment summit at the church headquarters. Fit Tambanakus, Canaan Land, Water Ogbo State. General Overseer of the Living Faith Church International Winners Chapel, Bishop David Oyedepo, has warned Nigeria Christians to deviate from criticizing their prophets since short attitude attracts dangerous punishments from God. The cleric gave the warning during the Leadership Empowerment Summit at the church headquarters of Fit Sambanaku, Kenanad, Ottawa State. According to him, speaking against man of God can attract leprosy. Oyedeku said, beware of speaking hold against the ministry you claim to be part of advancing it a risk. Beware of speaking horns against a prophet you claim to believe. It's a dangerous. It is dangerous. It can make a man leprous. It is a dangerous stuff. We don't have the data of how many victims may have come from this way. But I know quite some would have been been victim. When we give warning, we give it based on prophetic insights. Admitting that criticizing was part of what prophets of God must endure. The cleric added, every prophet in ordained to be spoken against, so it is not a problem. It is already written. It is not the it is not that it is something that is new. My dear listener, I would like to take this news one more time again. Then it says the headlines criticizing men of God attract leprosy. Bishop Oyedepo wants Nigerians. The cleric gave the warning during the leadership empowerment summit at the church's headquarters, Fitz Tambanaku, Kenanand, Hota, Ogun State. General Overseer of the Living Faith Church International Witness Chapel, Bishop David Oyedepo, has warned Nigeria Christian to deviate from criticizing their prophets since such attitude attracted dangerous punishment from God. The cleric gave the warning during the leadership empowerment summit at the church's headquarters of Fitz Tambanaku, Kaniland, Ota Ogun State. According to him, speaking against men of God can attract leprosy. Oyedeku said, beware of speaking hold against the ministry you claim to be part of advancing. It is a risk. Beware of speaking hold against a prophet you claim to believe. It is a dangerous. It can make a man leprous. It is a dangerous. It is dangerous. We don't have the data of how many victims may have come from this one, but I know quite some should, quite some would have been victim when we give one. We give it based on prophetic insights. Admitting that criticizing we was part of what prophets of God must endure and cleric added, every prophet is ordained to be, sm- to be spoken in gist. So it is not a problem, it is already written. It is not that it is something that is new. Well, my dear listener, we've come to the end of today's news. Then before we go, let's see what people of Nigeria are saying. Let's see people's reactions and their opinions about what uh, a bishop, general of the of, um, of Venus Chapel, which was Bishop David Oyedepo. Let's see what people are saying about his, um, so it is, uh, his, his news here. Then I have a summary here which says, not everybody that comes to one's mouth is worth saying. Same way, non title prayer will go to hell. Uh, things would be tight for the person. The church is losing it. Christ no, was not criticizing, but was killed as contained in the Bible. Wow. <laughs> then, however, someone here also, this man reacted and says, Yes, it is true, it is written in the book of David. Oh, you dig with chapter one verse one. <laughs> wow, I can't imagine how much fear these people want to 
instill in us to fear them. The pressure Nigeria are going through is immorous from governments and religions leader. It's taking wisdom and grace to survive in this country. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> uh, uh, this, this comments of this guy was actually funny. But there's something I would like us to know. Take note. Uh, you know, what Bishop Oedepo was trying to say and what he said was actually something correct and it was biblical. You get in it. And uh, actually, I don't think there's no reason. You have no reason to, you know, to go against the word, to uh, go against the man of God, criticizing him. That's correctly wrong. Actually, okay, when I was okay, fine, let's let's take let's take a look at it in this way. Maybe a man of God was actually doing something that was wrong. How we wish we shouldn't be in the one in the position to fine, we can correct him, you know. If you are in the position to correct him, we can. But if we are not, we shouldn't be in the in the position uh, in the position of criticizing him, maybe gossiping around about him. That's very bad. That's very bad. I think God should should be the one uh, to handle in that case. You get it? So we shouldn't be the one like this was said. <laughs> it's written in the book of David Oyedeko, chapter one, verse one. <laughs> it was actually funny, but seriously, Frank, honestly speaking, uh, it shouldn't be in that way. You know, criticizing the man of God. It's, you know, it's a that's a verse in the Bible that say, "Do not touch the uh, my anointed man of God." Well, but no, no, nothing much. Then I have to take another comments here. Which says, uh, it is a lie a man and a woman of God are likely alike and other person God created. It is criticizing any more anyone wrongly, be it man of God or any other person. It is not good but not to attract leprosy or any other serious alignment as to as you submitted, but it is you criticizing rightly, especially when the person contributed to be criticizing it is yes i think what you should be preaching now is how the so-called men and women of god should start living right how they should emulate our lord and savior jesus christ during his earthly ministry our how our membership our members and the poor can be able to attend the same the school built by the men of god at a subdued rate generally generally you sh you guys should repent because you don't do well <laughs> well uh this is well about this people's reaction then before i go i would like to take a woman call uh, a woman uh, comment which will be the last comment i'm going to take it and this woman reacted and says this is totally heresy from the man of god even the apostle we criticized and one can never be a Christian Christian without criticize, even in the betuted. Our Lord Jesus said, you would criticize for my sake, but be a good share because I have overcome the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Wow. And I love this short comment. Uh, actually, like I said earlier, it's meant, and Bishop Oyedeko David also said that, he said uh, it's meant to, 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 to criticize a man of God because it was even biblical. It was already written. It was not a new thing. But, you know, just to avoid, you know, leprosy, to avoid punishment from God, it shouldn't come from us. You're getting it. So, thank you for listening. And I will do, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel and thumb up, down, thumb up your, your work in this fashion box so you can get notified when you're down onto your, onto your platform. Thank you for listening to House.